Everyman Driver Nation, welcome inside the 2017 Mazda MX-5 Miata GT. I know you can't see it from the outside, but we have a crystal white pearl mica exterior color. Now, I already did a just arrived video. So today we are going to do a driving demo because First of all, we're rolling on 17 inch Bridgestone Blizzak tires. Now these Blizzak tires are phenomenal. In the first eight miles that I was driving this, we had some light snow on the ground. And I was told to go ahead and try to give it some gas and let it fishtail a little bit. So go around some corners and uh, give, it some, give it some gas. Because when you do that, based on the tires this vehicle will get back on track pretty quickly good grip even in some icier conditions um we've got rear wheel drive here i'll tell you more about the specs here in a second but i've got three cameras around the car as you can tell and i'm going to keep an eye on the one that's down by my uh down by my wheel this is actually my second attempt at this the first time i did this uh, too much snow and slush got in the camera lens, so I wasted all that time. Unfortunately, we have no backup camera, so I am, uh, I squeezed everything off this, the back window so I can see. Cool. All right, this is going to be fun. We hit about two to four inches of snowfall in the last two or three days, so that's what we have out here. Now, under the hood is a Skyactiv G 2 liter inline four cylinder this uh made it to a six speed manual transmission which makes it super fun 155 horses and 148 pound feet of torque so now leaving my neighborhood i'm gonna take a left watch the wheel i'm gonna give it some gas here see if i can spin out a little bit it's letting me do it a little bit there I'm trying to spin Probably gonna call the police on me. This guy's driving crazy. Heck, I'm only going 15 miles per hour, so it's not really that crazy. All right, camera still on board. Now, not a lot new with this vehicle. There, this comes in three trim levels: Sport, Club, and Grand Touring. We have the Grand Touring. Let's see if I can go a little bit of spin here. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear it gripping as I make the turns. It's getting back on track, which is the whole point of this. So this is fun because I feel like I'm a little, nice little fun drifting car. Hope you can see all this. Look at that. Hear, that, hear, hear the grip? Yep, back on track. There's some really great depth to these uh, tires. And normally you're not gonna be driving a car like this in the snow. Um, and it's just by luck that I got this car, good luck, bad luck, whatever you want to call it, that I got this vehicle during this uh, recent snow, not storm, but the snow drop, and they had these tires to give to me. See, I want to I wanna go ahead and fishtail, but it won't let me. So I'm trying. Let's see if we can go some deeper snow over here. That's the best I can do, friends. Now with the Grand Touring, we do have a heated seats for the front two passengers. Not a lot of room. Now, I want you to check out my Just Arrived video because I did a pretty detailed walk around where I showed some of the things here in the front with the steering wheel mounted controls. I showed a little cargo area. This only has four and a half cubic feet of cargo volume. So I showed that. In fact, I was able to put, uh, I got two duffel bags and I was able to put both of them in the back I had to because I was uh, doing my car swap last week and that's what I uh, had with me at the time. I'm gonna do a little turn around here. Man, I cannot hear some spinning. Oh, crap. So, I want to do some more craziness, but it won't let me. In fact, I'm just going 10, 15 miles per hour. I'm allowed 25 in this neighborhood, but I can't go. Oh, anyways, so we got uh, the GT here, Grand Touring. Uh, top trim level, heated seats, uh, navigation screen which uh, protrudes here along the dash, which, and I got this confirmed everyone, so don't give me crap in the comments section below. This is not something you can, 
There's my evidence. You cannot make any changes while you're driving. When you're in park or stopped, I'll do that right now. Proof is in the pudding. Here's your pudding. Now, now I can change the display and navigate around. Otherwise, all the information, that, all the stuff that you want to look at, move this down here. Here is the dial down below to do any navigating. And this is uh, what you use 24 seven, I would say. Otherwise, you have to be parked or stopped to be able to, to navigate with a push button here on top. Okay, let's get back on track. I'm gonna go ahead and stop, let this guy go by. We have a, a blind spot detection over here and a lane departure warning on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Um, cruise control, Bluetooth technology, which is always a plus. Two, count them, two USB ports. I love USB ports, uh, especially two of them for you and your passenger if you want to do some um, charging on the go. Here's some spinning. Yeah, second gear. <laughs> and this is nice in the instrument cluster it has a readout of what gear you're in this is a six-speed manual so now it has a three dash to a four so it's telling me I can shift up into the next gear if I want to now fuel economy in this is 27 city 34 I think it is on the highway and you know normally I'd want to give you some real-world miles per gallon averages with a good mix between highway and, and city, but we're not gonna get anything true to that. To, uh, we didn't get anything true to that this week because the weather is like it is. Otherwise, I'd be able to do some nice highway driving and around town, it's just, it's just a little challenging to get anything true for fuel economy. Now, I have done a review of the 2016, which is basically the same, so check that out here on my channel. Use that little eyeglass icon here on YouTube and just type in 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miata and you'll see that detailed review there with more information. In fact, I even got in, the, I tried to get myself in the trunk of that uh, that car. This is a soft top and someone made a comment during my Just Arrived video that you should not uh, retract this when there's snow on it because it could do some damage. I tried to pull it back, couldn't get it all the way back because there was a little bit of a layer of snow on top. What else can I tell you? There's the glove compartments behind me where my elbow is. There's a pair of cup holders, one in the front, one in the back. Otherwise, this is a fun car to drive. I mean, the, the manual transmission makes it a lot more fun. But because of the snow, we're not gonna be able to do any true experiences with the top down. But I can give you this, this Blizz X experience, which I'm doing right now. Yeah, dog! Woohoo! Safety, that was craziness at five miles per hour. All right, everybody, um, that's gonna wrap it up for me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my day of driving and then return this car and wait for the next one. So that is your snow driving demo in the 2017 Mazda MX-5 Miata GT Grand Touring Word. Damn. Uh. Yeah.